Okay, now that we've gone over adding the model into the models into Character Creator 3, um, we're going to start getting it set up. Um, with uh, we're just going to put the textures on there first, and then we'll do the um, the weight maps after that in the next episode probably. So or the skin maps, I mean. Um, now, if you've got everything else open, you can just go through and save. Or not for now. Uh, we may need to make some changes to the clothing. Uh, you can close down your iClone. You don't need to save it, uh, and close your 3D exchange. You don't need to save or export data. Um, so now we've got a character. Uh, let's open up uh, your project in our Substance Panel. Um, now we're going to uh, export these out to. We have a textures folder. Um, so what I'm going to do is in these textures folder, uh, Templar textures, how you've got all the color IDs and everything there. Um, now let's just leave those color IDs there. No, I don't think we need to change them. But what we want to do is add a belt. Just uh, structure it the same way you have the the models in. So belt boots. Shame our shirts, gloves, helmet, shoulder armor, robes, trousers. That's fine. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go into our substance panel. We want to export those textures. Uh, select all. Um, now I want to put them in the Templar textures and then I can uh, manually dump them over afterwards. So we're going to do all of them. Um, select your iClone template. Now we went over this in an earlier video. Um, let me see if I can find the video that we went over it in. It was very early when we started into Substance Painter. I believe it could have been in creating the color map. So um, would have been either episode or tutorial 19 or tutorial 21 or 22. Um, it's around there. I'll just go through those Those there. They're um, less than half an hour. One's six minutes, one's 23 minutes, uh, one is 28 minutes. I'll just go through that. Um, I can quickly show you though the iClone uh, template that I have here. Now I've created this myself. Um, go through and recreate uh, this, e recreate this exactly. Um, you want your RGB, RGB, your uh, G grayscale, uh, metal grayscale there for the metallic, uh, the RBG emissive. We we don't need an emissive. Um, it's probably not going to pop out because I don't actually have, uh, if you look here, I don't actually have the emissive map uh, selected on there. So it, it might be exporting out uh, emissive because I don't have it on there. Uh, what we want to do though is um, just export them all as iClone. Uh, like I said, just, um, just take a screenshot of this. I uh, set them up exactly the way I have them set up there. And um, now we just uh, export them all out. Uh, we've got the correct folder. Well, we wanted that um, based on the template. Now we can keep all these uh, these settings the way they are and uh, export them out. Okay, now that they have all uh, exported out, 
you can open up your Apple directory and uh, you will see them all here. What I'm going to do here in um, the substance panel though is we're going to save it as an um, save our template and then we can close our program down shortly. Um, now for this we want to add our belts um, don't worry about the ID. So we want the belt um, you want your boots. So you boot base color, metallic, normal, roughness. This is what adds into character uh, Gmail. So there's four. So there should be four of each one. Uh, gloves, four. Uh, helmet, four. And shoulders, four. And Templar robe, uh, four. And the last one is the trousers of four. Now we have these uh these set. Let's uh, just go and close Substance Manor and open up your iClone. Now from here, we can simply drag in our um, color and our, our maps through here. Uh, so we're doing the trousers. So uh, trousers, uh, metallic your trousers normal which will pop up and ask you if it wants to be a bump map or a normal map select normal map click OK and bring in your roughness there um, I'm just going to do this for all of them and I'm going to uh, just just do it on the other the other tab because it's easier for me So that's our uh, import of them all in. <laughs> I think that's looking pretty good. Um, let's put them all in. Those are uh, those bump maps might be a bit too high there uh, for the stitches. I can uh, reduce that and then just uh, just overwrite the textures in here. So that'll all be fine. Uh, I think those pants look pretty good. So we'll go here. Let's have a closer look at the at these items here. So uh, if we could, uh, select all of them and turn them off. We can go through and look at the trousers. The trousers. Um, ignore that. We haven't added the um, the weights to them yet, and they're not conforming yet. I think the trousers look pretty good. Um, the belt. You remember that belt sits around the um, around the robes, which so that's nice and tight there around the belt. Uh, the robes. Robes look uh, pretty good, I think. Yeah, I think they, I think everything is looking pretty good here. Yep. Okay. Um, let's have a look at this uh, chamber shirt with the Templar robes off. Yeah, that looks uh, looks all right. I think. So it definitely looks like a chamber shirt. Okay, let's just add everything on. There we go. Um, before I go over the next next one, I'm um, doing it through here. I'm going to turn off my base, and I'm going to just uh, do a quick render through um, through the array preview. I'm going to set it up as uh, well, three thousand. I've got it on three thousand, so three thousand should be fine. Um, that'll render pretty quick because I've got a um, a GTX 2070 Super, um, RTX 2070 Super, sorry. I'm thinking that, that's looking pretty good. Alright. I'm gonna, um, save a copy of that. Save it into my. So I've got the videos here already. I've been um my videos. Let's do it. Uh, I a one. Looks good. 
And I actually remember earlier when I was saying um, at the beginning of the videos, I wasn't sure if it was going to turn out to be a flop or if it was going to turn out pretty good. Um, I think I'm, I'm pretty happy with, with how it has turned out. Yeah, it's, it's looking nice, I think. I may need to accentuate around the the helmet a bit. See how it's meant to have those darker, the darker areas around where the the um, visor section bit is. Uh, I'm not sure if that's dark enough. I think the boots look okay. The gloves look okay. Um, I've decided to go for the fingers gloves with a sort of a gauntlety feel to them up on um, the bracer section up the arms uh, because it's just a lot easier to get them um, conforming in that without having the the fingers on there. I think it still looks good. Like I said, we weren't going for an original uh, base of... Uh, we weren't going for original Templar look. Uh, sorry, just let me save this one. Uh, we were going for a fantasy Templar look. Now, as you can see, um, I think I think it all looks good. Right, uh, next video we're going to go over um, adding the skin weights to uh, all of these clothing here. Then that way we can start getting it to conform and see how it all looks um, so far. I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, I'll see you in the next video.